The digital divide is the segregating force which makes the distinction between the students that have the ability to excel and gain technological experience in a classroom against those whose families may struggle gaining the means to purchase the devices expected for 21st century education. The digital divide can be understood as the social, cultural, economic or educational divide that stems from an inability to access information and communication technology, known as ICT, and subsequently the lack of knowledge or understanding in ICT making those who are void of these information tools at a disadvantage during device-based classroom activities or when implementing schoolwork at home. The contributing factors to this divide are largely education, economic income and age demographics. However, digital divide is not limited to those influences. Other issues that impact the digital divide may be the lack of computing devices in one's environment. Obviously, those that are in a lower economic nation are affected by this. However, even in the Western world, there is a division between pupils. There could be a lack of computing resources at a home or a government-funded facility. Living rural in an isolated place also would affect students. Bridging the gap between the digital divide is of paramount importance if people are to become contributing members of society, as the access to ICT allows for people to communicate and receive information with others. And notably, employers seek those with skills in curating and producing digital content of varying degrees, ranging from word documents and visual mediums to producing original media. It can be argued that the responsibility for closing the gap and providing e-literacy lies within the hands of the education system, as students cannot be held accountable for their socio-cultural situation and consequent disadvantages. It could be suggested that the education system is responsible to de dedicate funding for ICT and computer technologies within the realms of school, rather than insisting on families to invest in a product for a child that is at risk of being damaged or stolen during school times.